Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to the adventures of Benov, also featuring me, probably set in some form of land, I think it's called Skyrim or something, I can't remember. And we are here, in the Thieves Guild, doing some thievery. Last time, we did some, we didn't really do much in the way of thievery, we did like some poisoning, which doesn't really feel like the Thieves Guild job, it feels like more like, you know, the Assassin's Guild job, but in all fairness, you know what, I don't think we actually killed anyone, I think we just made him maybe a little bit sick, or gave him an unpleasant taste in his mouth, and we got someone thrown in prison. Prison. But it turns out somebody is trying to drive a wedge between the Thieves Guild and Maven. They're kind of, uh, not really patron, I guess, but they certainly have a strong working relationship and someone wants to stop that happening. And Mercer Fry, the Guildmaster, apparently has a plan for figuring out who. So, Mercer, what have you got for me? Ah, there you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. Okay, I found the same marking at the Honing Brew Meadery, indeed, if you haven't heard that yet. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Okay, you admire them, maybe we should recruit them. Clever. No, no, not die. We don't do dying for the last time. That's not what we do. Maybe we should try and recruit them ourselves. That seems like a good way to neutralize the situation. You jest, but they've been able to avoid identification for years. They're obviously well-funded, driven, and patient. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Okay, what's the plan then, Mercer? Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gollum I. Slimy bastard. Okay, fine. Actually, I noticed that one. I did that. Yeah, we got the name of the agent from Golden Glow. So, I was saying we should look into that earlier, but whatever. You've only just caught up with me. That's fine. Right, where is he then? Presumably if he's also one of your contacts and he's like playing both sides, you must know where he is because he doesn't know he's been found out yet. Golomai is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Alright, fine. May as well speak to Brynjolf while we're literally right here, why not, eh? So, anything you can help me with on this front? I can't believe Gullamai's mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Right, so potentially we're dealing with someone who's fairly low down in whatever organization this is. We're not dealing with the person who actually came up with the conspiracy. Fine. Trouble. <laughs> he's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. Okay, what do we do with him then? If we've got any weaknesses, any way we can manipulate him? You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. Okay, that's fair enough, and I'm gonna guess that we let him live, right? I'm glad to see you're embracing our methods. It would be a waste to lose a contact at the East Empire Company before we had the entire story. Just keep on Golomai's tail, and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. But potentially, the best way to do it might just be to pay him off as you say. I'm just swimming in money right now, that's probably the safest option. So, once we get the information, what do you want me to do after that point? Just head right back to the guild and get the information to Mercer. Nothing else is more important. If you discover Gullum Eyes holding out on us and has more loot stashed away than he claims, we find that information quite valuable as well. Okay, there might be a bit of a subplot going on then. And tell me about the East Empire Company. A mercantile group that has established ports all over Tamriel. They pretty much dominate the whole shipping industry. The Emperor himself supposedly backs them, which means they have fairly unlimited resources. So don't get their feathers in a ruffle. Alright, don't cause trouble for any guards in the area. Gotcha. Good luck in solitude. Keep Golomai alive, but remind him who we are. 
Alright, well, we may as well head in that direction, but I've not actually been to Solitude yet, so that's going to actually take a little bit of walking. Now, I think the closest town would probably be Morthal, if I recall correctly. Also, I just came out to the, uh, the secret entrance. Yeah, we just, two people popped out of the secret entrance in clear view of the guard there. So, uh, possibly that was a bad thing, but never mind, whatever. Right, okay, let's see what we've got going on here. Map. Solitude over in this direction, know where that is, uh, but how to get up there, because we've got that there, we've got a nice little thing there, we've also got, yeah, we've got to get up there, I think, like, I know there's a path from here, but presumably the guy in question is going to be down by the docks, right, though actually it looks like he's, he's not being marked as down here, so... Probably the best thing I can do is actually head via land, because I know there's going to be... Yeah, there's going to be a nice little kind of a path up this way. I'm not sure if I just swim over the sea, and that's actually... I'm pretty sure that's high up. It looks like you can just go over here, but I'm pretty sure you can't. I think that's just a high up bit of, like, uh, built up stuff on a really high ledge, if I recall correctly. Right. Now, there is a few bits and pieces around here. I've actually been meaning to uh, turn my attention to. Statue of Meridia. Now, I know that's got a nice, unique, interesting reward attached to it, but I'm not sure if, like, by this point in the game it might be pretty useless. But, I may as well kind of head that way. It's kind of cool. If I started off at the Apprentice Stone, yeah, then potentially there's a nice little area here I could kind of visit. Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, that's, um, that relates to Forbidden Legend, doesn't it? Forbidden Legend? Am I right in saying that? Yes! Yes, it does. The Golder Legend. Well, as I'm literally passing close by my way to Solitude, sure, let's head to the Apprentice Stone and head north to uh, Folgenthur and see if by any chance there's any way to get over to where I need to from here, but I suspect not. Right, let's head on our way, Benor. Also, I don't know at that dragon. I really hope they're not about to start spawning in. Now I'm level 40. Yeah, there we go. That's how I thought it was. Yeah, actually, like, I think that's actually the palace itself. The palace itself is built on the rock bit, so I'm never going to be able to get up there. If we just head over in this direction, we might just be able to scout out what we're looking at. Because, yeah, I vaguely remember the layout here, but I'm not sure it's going to be... Is that a guy over there? Is that a person? No, it's just a tree. It's just a tree. That's 100% fine. Uh, yeah, there's... There's clearly a port down here, obviously, down by the water, and logically... There would be a way to actually get from the port up to the city. So there might be like a load zone that lets me... No, that's just Ben or it's fine. Uh, there might be like a load zone that lets me get up. Just like go through a door there. Because surely there must be a connection between the port and the city. Otherwise it would be a pretty bloody useless port. So yeah, that kind of works. Let's have a think about that and maybe revisit that after we're done with here, and the next stage of the Golder Legend, which should actually be much easier at this point, because I am basically just looking for some good opportunities to try out my one-handed. Because at this point, I am kicking everything's bloody ass. So here we are, pretty much right here. It was just around the corner from where I was. But, apparently, we're not going straight in. We're checking out a campsite first. Right, a j Oh, oh, hang on. We've got, we've got something... Oh, bloody hell. Right, okay. Benor, you fight that. I need to just quickly read a journal before, like, the dragon burns it. After years of searching, I finally traced the ivory claw to a collector in Bravel. His death was necessary. I have it. At last, I have it. Three days of non-stop riding, I reached Anvil ahead of my pursuers and took passage on the Ice Runner bound for solitude once more. What have we got going on here? Ah, so he took a boat to solitude. There was a bunch of adventurers, so we just hired them to be a bit of manpower when he was going into this area. Fine. This time I have the claw, I will have the amulet. So an old mage has the claw, doesn't seem to be here, so he's probably already taken it inside. Fine. And then afterwards, he threw all his books and scrolls into the fire to make sure no one could follow him. So let's just take that and then start, like, running now, because I suspect a dragon's about to start breathing some fire. Yeah, quite possibly he is. Right, never mind, there's a tree in the way, so that's not gonna do much. Right, okay. <laughs> Right, well, Ben, oh, we just need to very quickly check out this area, make sure there's not an actual flipping claw here, right? There's no claw here, right? Also, where's the dragon? Right, he's over there. Hide behind a tree! Okay, he's just going for Ben, oh, that's fine. Right, if he's willing to land, though, let's just get Stormy down. This campsite's not a bad place, actually, just in terms of uh, places I can hide, uh, so Stormy can get some hits in. If he wants to go for me, he's not going to do very well, to be perfectly honest. 
Yeah, Stormy can just get some light taps. And let's just see... Actually, yeah. Let him land. Let's see how well I do against a flipping uh, Elder Dragon. Now I've got basically double damage on my one hand. I just need the bastard to land. And I'm guessing Benor's over there now for whatever bloody reason. No, the dragon just decided he wanted to go and set fire to a deer. And now it's gone and set fire to that deer. Or possibly that's... Actually, that might be Morthal. Okay, fine. If he wants to attack Morthal, he's more than welcome to. I can't be bothered. Right, let's not bother chasing down a dragon. Let's just head in here and try this out against some lovely, lovely zombies. And hopefully he'll be gone by the time I come out. I've got plenty of dragon souls. I don't really need any more right now, to be honest. And the dragon doesn't seem that interested in me for once. So, we're not the first people to come in here recently. We know for a fact this other guy and some adventurers have already passed through. So there's an excellent chance, yeah, some of the dead and whatever will already have been killed. Benor, please don't step on the traps, by the way. They're very, very obvious. They're right there. They're the trap-shaped things. Please don't step on them. Benor. Yeah, you just start to step on them and then just run straight through. Well, that's fine. That's fine. You just can't trust Benor. Ah! He's already opened the way. But I'm guessing something went wrong in here. Who are you? You're just an adventurer. Fine. So we're just going to find their corpses. Uh, and sooner or later we need to make sure we find an old mage's corpse. Because he'll still have the thing on him. And sure, he needed the kind of the claw to get through here. And I'm guessing if you come here before you begin this quest, um, the Golders Legend thing, maybe this will be closed and there's no way to have the claw. So you've got to do a different stage first. Grab the soul gem. Okay, haven't managed to screw everything up yet, and yet again, more keyholes. Fine. In fact, actually, it looks like he's already solved the puzzle in here. So that's convenient. And if I had this, I could have actually gone in the Skyrim door. Bloody convenient. Right. Well, through we go then, and... Oh! Okay, this time it was me that walked straight up. Now it's Benor that's walked straight over. Okay, maybe we just ignore the thing and we just say, screw it. We just go... I think I just jump through the fire. That's fine. You... Oh! Stab you straight through the stomach. You know what, Benor? I don't need you anymore. I've got amazing skills now. Right, in we go. Let's see what we've got going on here. Ah, we've got someone. Oh, dear. Did you just die? Oh, you're a... Oh, dear. That... Okay, that just slightly failed. Uh, Benor... Uh-oh. Benor! Benor, I need you in the room with me, actually, because my shout failed, which is really stupid. I'm not sure why it failed. Right, in you go. Right, take out the wrestlers. Benor, you go distract that guy for a second, okay? Oh, we've got more over there first, though. Right, oh, yeah. Even this white is... Oh, my. That's a white. It's just being slaughtered. Benor, on we go. So, Benor does that much. I do about as much damage as Benor does at this point. Nice. Also, can't help but notice, I believe, if I just take a swing at this, that should actually just light up all this oil, right? No, it doesn't light up that oil, however. That's a shame. Do I need to potentially light up this here? Oh, that's a glass mace. That's not bad at all. Let's just light up. No, let's just light up. Ouch. Blimey. Sorry, I didn't actually mean to. Wait, what did I just do? Why was there just that blue squiggly effect? I don't know. I just meant to kind of get the oil out of the way just in case. And conveniently enough, I'm going to guess that no, not you. You're actually a zombie. Sorry that we've got... Ooh, okay. I'm just... No, I've seen one of those before. I have seen that before. Uh, so we don't need those. Uh, you did do a pretty good job killing your way past a whole bunch of zombies. It can't be denied, but in the end, wasn't enough. Danus Valen, sadly you died here. I'll have the dragon claw off you. Lovely. What's that? Ooh, a pearl. Okay, I'll just eat one of those for no well-explained reason. Staff of Frostbite, can't be bothered with that. Not even a great weight to value ratio, to be honest. Right, have a look at your notes, though. That's probably important. And this has actually told me where the other ones are. I did already know that, but I like my character knowing it. I did actually remember that one of them, yeah, was near close by to Iverstead. Uh, but I didn't actually want to go there until the game told me about it. So Golda's three sons grew cruel and resentful. They lust after their father's power and prestige. And eventually, Jyric, the eldest, discovered its source, a mysterious amulet from which he never parted. Together, they conspired to murder their father in his sleep and divide his amulet between them, and so it was done. Consumed by their newfound power, the brothers laid waste to the surrounding villages. So great was the carnage, the High King himself intervened, sending a company of battle mages, led by the Archmage Germund, to subdue the brothers. And after a devastating battle, the three fled the field. And now we know where they've gone. Perfect. 
Though worth noting that, uh, yeah, a former Archmage, Germond, is actually going to be inside the tomb that's close by to Ivestead, so we might need to take him out as well. And now we've got this thing. Activate the keyhole. And what's that going to do? Release it. Oh, hello! Yeah, try it. Yeah, good luck with that. Didn't go well for you. By the way, you're dead. By the way, so are you. I'm really badass now. So now we murder, 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 murder. Oh, can't quite murder. Actually, you know what? By the time you actually get up, I can actually finish you off. I just took on a white one-on-one -on -one while he was getting up. And I won. Screw you. Didn't even need Ben or his help for that one. Yeah, all right. Now life is good. Oh, wrestlers. Oh, I don't think life's going so well for you. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, dear. Now there's actually a puzzle. Uh, yeah, you can finish off that one. That's fine. I'll work on the puzzle. So, that made... How many layers are there? There's four layers here. That made two and three go up. Probably need a little bit of light for this. Although I can't see what's going on. Right, so that made two and three change. That made, I think, three come down. So then if I do this one again, does that mean now... Yeah, it's just they change positions from where they are. So all four are down at this point, okay? And then this one is... Ah, if that one's one and four... And this one's two and three. Yep, there we are. Job done. Lovely. Right, on we go, Benor. And we got some more waking up here. Who are you, by the way? Are you a... Uh, you're a wrestler's power attack for you. You're in a bit of trouble. I should probably get out a bound sword, to be honest. I feel like a bound sword would work pretty well here. Just get myself yet more flipping... Oh, hello. We've got... Okay, we've got... Oh, right. Okay, somebody has the ability to... Summon Atronax. Not very good ones, but you know, they can. Right. Crack that open. Does that open this? Oh, oh, I'm being being attacked by something. Ben, oh, things are happening. I'm going in here. I suspect I need to go around here to get around to the back. And that's a... No, we'll just... Get you down, please. Uh, ben, oh, I've found the enemy. I can do with a bit of help. No, Ben, oh. Ben, oh, this is, this is not the... That's the one, though. Right, get the restless out of the way. Now, go take a... Oh, he's got ice magic. Benor, you're trying to take something out for a wall. Please don't. All right, Dramora Lord. Benor's just flipping lost it. Can you take care of this? No, Dramora Lord, no. Don't do it. Ah, fine, whatever. Right, if I literally cast you on top of this guy, will you... No, yes, yes. That's right. Now you've got it. Now he's figured it out. Right, let's just actually get ourselves out of Bound Sword here. Uh, I would like to get this guy's soul, if at all possible. So, there we go. Swing and swing, and this should be enough now. Yep, lovely. That's, I think it's either a common or a greater soul, in fact. Right, now, presumably, there's got to be... Ooh, nice artwork at the back here, by the way. There's presumably got to be, like, a switch in here that lets me turn the rock around, right? Maybe, not sure. Right, keep pulling the chain here. The chain does... Oh! The chain just gets me killed, does it? All right, fine. Yeah, something in there keeps casting bloody Frost Antronax. How the bloody hell do we get in here? And how do I open this thing? Because every time I pull this thing, it doesn't end well. It just leads to... Yeah, it's just causing poison things to be spat out at me. Like, I can see there's things here where it's saying, like, snake or whatever. Where's the bloody puzzle? Oh, right. There's a lever right by the door. I probably should have just, like, tried that first, shouldn't I? Yeah, that's that's probably the solution then. All right, fine, let's just... Oi! None of that, thank you. Right, Dramora Lord, this one's on you, all right? Get in there, help out with him. Have we dealt with that guy yet? Where's the... Where's Frosty? That Frosty's taken care of, right? And it's a Scourge! Ooh, he went down nice and quick, thank you. Grab myself a Great Soul Jam here. Right, and now we've got... Ah, okay, they need to match. They need to match side by side. Uh-oh. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Good. Didn't electrocute me. Just electrocuted Benor. Ah, wait. Okay, I need to choose one or the other. So, turn this way round. So it goes snake, whale, eagle. Gotcha. So, should go snake, then whale, then eagle. That should be a lot. And now I can pull the thing and not get poisoned, right? Yeah, there we go. Right, on we go, lads. That took me longer than it should have done. But now we get to go down, 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 down. Very good. 
And that has indeed brought me up to the end. Oh, but first we've got some killing to do. Well, that's... Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm not so worried by you guys anymore. You're already flipping dead. How about you? You can just go for the... Sorry, Benor. Right, now... Now he's down the ground. I can just... I can pretty much finish off before he gets back up. I just pretty much just took out two whites by myself. Nice. And there's more over here. Yeah, you're just restless. That's not going to end up well for you. Oh, more restless. Oh, guys. I wouldn't even bother. Right, time to check what the correct pattern is on this particular claw. Bird, bird, squiggly thing that's not a wolf or a bird. Gotcha. Right, one more for you then, and it is... Oh, it's a dragon. That was the squiggly thing that wasn't a bird. It was a dragon. Right, here we go. That should be a lot. Give it a wiggle. Yep, perfect. So now three dragons, because I don't know. There's no logic to what it ultimately ends up as. It wasn't three hours for once. That's nice. Probably because the owls weren't there. And in we go to the Folgulfa Crypt. Nice. And this looks like a boss room to me. Yep, straight to the final boss. Good, good, good. Uh, grab myself a potion. Why not? Now, everyone here, Benno, present and correct. Lovely. Right, head forward. Prepare Dramora Lord. Because I suspect it's going to be actually... That's, there's not that's... that many crypts in here. Because obviously the crypts will open if there's crypts to provide backup, but I don't see that many of them. No, actually, I think we're okay. Right, you, go over there, help out. Oh, there's a few of them. Right, I'll take out these lads. I can take out these lads if these are just... Oh, these are just thralls. And apparently they're not very good at their jobs. Beautiful. Right, I'll take out the little guys. You focus on the big lad. Well, I'll go and get the reinforcements, all right? Lovely. Now, there's little lads over here. Oh, yeah. These thralls just going down in one hit. That's nice and badass. Because just one shot these guys. Right. No. Anyone else? Anyone else? How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> this I'm liking. Just running around one shotting everything. How are you guys doing? I think he's dead. Yeah, you already killed him. All right, fine. <laughs> well done, team. Well done. Efficiently done. I don't think they even bothered getting up. Yeah, this guy I don't think actually woke up. Yeah, I think we killed him too fast. For uh, all of them to actually uh, get up. So, uh, well done. Well done, everybody. Good job. Right. Over to you. And you had... Increase your health by 30 points. Okay. I'll also have the writ of sealing here. Sure, be bound here, you bastard. Condemned for being a bastard. You're a bastard. This charm proves you're a bastard. Gotcha. And he's also got a sword, 53 damage, absorbs 15 points of health. I remember getting this the very first time I played Skyrim. I used this for ages. Because, yeah, if you're not like, you know, if you haven't specialised in smithing or enchanting or anything, it actually seems pretty bloody amazing when you first find it. It's not so great for me because I've got uh, better quality stuff. But it's still a sod enough thing. I'll keep it as a memento. It can go in my chest of mementos. And don't forget the actual amulet fragment. That's pretty bloody important. So now I've got one amulet fragment for 30 magic and one for 30 health. So I could wear either of those, but both of them aren't so great, to be honest. But if, in theory, I was to take a little diversion over to, you know, say... Also, why are there two? Why is there two? Okay, what's this one for? All right, crack it open. Is there literally nothing in here but a couple of pots? The fact there's nothing interesting in here makes me very suspicious. Oh, there's a coin purse back here. Good old 39 gold. Last I can retire and give up this life of murdering literally everyone. But the other side, I suspect, is actually where the exit is. Uh, yes, yes it is. And hopefully I'll get a nice big reward chest. Yep, that looks like a great big reward chest right there. Very, very good indeed. Uh, good stuff. Basic hide shield. Not so hot. We've got... Ooh. I hear a word of power. That's a good reward at least. Hello, what's it going to be? Something good. Uh, Cold Frost Breath. Oh, not the second of Cold Frost Breath. I don't even like Cold Frost Breath. It's not that good. Right. I'll take two Ultimate and Vigorous Potions. Uh, glass Maze I can do without. Chest, don't let me down. Uh, 220 Gold. Uh, petty Soul Gem. Uh, gold Diamond Necklace. That's valuable. I'll leave the Battle Axe. All right, fine. Some valuable enough stuff there. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that is actually... Just check. That's definitely the second uh, tier of what I've got there. Frost Breath. Yeah, I've now got two tiers of Frost Breath. Honestly, not so convinced it's worth doing. I've got powerful enough weaponry and I've got... Uh, I prefer ice form, to be honest. Right, on we go. Apparently I can. Yep. Push my way back out here. And we're right back at... Not quite the beginning, but very close by to the beginning. Lovely. 
And if we're very lucky indeed, uh, one, Benno won't have fallen behind and died somewhere. He'll hopefully catch up. There he is, you big lump. Right, hopefully when we step outside, the dragon won't still be around. And... Oh. Old stonework. Gold, traps, and bones. Benno, you have this odd habit of talking about areas we've just finished exploring, alright? That might have been vaguely useful, at least relevant to say, before we started exploring it. But not so much now. Alright. No sign of the dragon I can see. So, let's just head over in this direction and swim over to the port. Because if we can just swim straight over to the port, then that might actually be quite useful. Because the port surely got to have a load zone. Gets me up into the city. If so, also, you're mud crabs, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you are. Excuse me. I've got a soul gem that needs filling, and it's got your name on it. I don't know what your name is. I just kind of wrote crab. Sorry, that's probably offensive, but, you know. Two. Done. Lovely. It's probably just a petty soul, but it'll bloody do. So, here we are. Weapons and whatever away. And the only thing swimming in this water seem to be nice and safe and whatever. We've got... Oh! Wait, what the... That's... No, those aren't dragons. Those are definitely not dragons. Those are like albatrosses or something. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Excuse me, do you mind if I just kind of use this boat for one second? One... Okay, put that away. Okay, no, jump. Jump, get over to... There we go. Um, I don't know. I may or may not be looking to hire a boat, Joel. What's the deal there? I can take you to any port on the coast. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't even know you were there. That's just fast travel to uh, any port on the coast. That's really cool. Right, so... We've made it to, uh, not quite to solitude, but we've made it to close by to solitude. Hang on, don't go back on the ship. I need to talk to you first. Excuse me, excuse me. You have no knowledge of who you speak to. Go away. Okay, that's actually kind of fair. Yeah, fine. We won't speak to you. Uh, maybe we'll speak to you later or murder you or something if someone asks me to. Generally, I'm pretty good at just murdering people if someone just tells me to do so. Right. So, this all looks fine as it should do. Hello there. One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Claimed it was one of those Sijic monks. A man hid in school, I see. Yeah, you probably better fire him for drug abuse. That sounds ridiculous and couldn't possibly be true. Right, so, that looks like that would lead up to the city. We've got down here, this will be the East Empire Company warehouse. Lovely, but it's night. So there's going to be no one around. Maybe I should just wait till morning to figure out what's going on here. There we are, 9.40, really pleasant bloody day. Hopefully none of those are dragons, and now we can have a look around properly. So this is, uh, ooh, East India Company warehouse. Okay, we were specifically told don't make trouble with the East India Company, so don't break my way in there just yet. Instead, just go around, chat to people, but like don't actually cause trouble. Let's just figure out what's going on here. Hello there, are you Deidre again? You're willing to speak now it's daytime and you're off your boat. You have no knowledge of who you speak to. Go away. No, still not in fact. Fine. Uh, so, I don't see anyone else new on the actual shores down here. So in which case, let's just head up in this direction. And if we're lucky, I would say there's got to be a little load zone to take me up into the city. Or just steps to take me to the outside. Yeah, this strikes me as much easier than just going the long way around. Although those bloody birds are really freaking me out. Because every time I see a shadow, I assume it's a bloody dragon. Yeah! Nice path here. Takes me right up to the city. Very, very good indeed. Nice. So here's Catalyst Farm. Hello. Wow, look at that robe. Are you a wizard? I am a wizard. I'm a pretty damn good one, actually. It's pretty awesome being me. Right. So this woman's just got a farm here that's... Well, it's called a farm, but it's most from the symbol, it's more like it's just like a stables. But all right, that's fine. So I could buy myself a horse. Oh, I like the horse. That's a nice color of horse. Yeah, that's fine. If I needed to buy a horse, I'd consider buying it from you. Yes, but don't go into the stables. There's no need whatsoever. We could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. That's fine, Catler. I probably don't need to pick potatoes for money. I think I'm carrying around 40,000 gold right this second, in fact. Stables? Though I will say, actually, yeah, unloading stuff from ships there, carrying it up to solitude, that's quite a lot of hard work. This is a steep slope to get heavy goods up. You'd think they'd have, like, you know, installed some form of, like, lift device or something. Just to, you know, help with the moving of goods. Maybe there is one in the East India Company warehouse. If you go in that way, there's, like, a different East India Company warehouse up top or something. That strikes me as logical. Right. 
And what about you? What? Oh no, that's just Catalyst Farm again. And then that's the path that heads away from the city. So it feels to me like we have actually got ourselves Solitude. Pretty nice and simple here. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right, in we go. And I suspect, as it's the first time entering a city, something will be happening. Big stone walls. Nice big city here. Crack open the gates. In we go. They can't hurt Uncle Rogvir. Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. Sorry, you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Advar. You're all hard, Vivian. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Torig. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Lion. challenged Torig. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Boo! Boo! I'm not sure what I'm booing really, but everyone else booed, so it just seemed like the right thing to do. Oh, this doesn't look good. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Actually, it's fine, don't worry. In a second, a dragon shows up, and then the... Oh, never mind, that, that didn't happen to him, that was just me. This guy's got a really good corpus, by the way, because he's wearing an amulet of tallow, so it's a really early guaranteed spawn of one. Just go over here, just quickly uh, search his corpse. Yeah, you can help yourself to an amulet of tallows if you want. So, wait, what? 20%? 20%? Wait, what's mine doing? Oh, no, mine is doing 20%. Sorry, I thought it was only 10%. No, it's, um... Is it 10% on the... I swear something has 10%. Is it 10% they added to Morike? Or am I just making up 10%? No, I'm just making up 10%. That's fine. Also, I should stop looting his head. Right. That's that done then. So, he's pretty dead. Maybe we just uh, walk away and don't draw attention to ourselves. Welcome to Solitude. Solitude's great. Solitude is a really, really big city full of people and stuff. And a big market and a great big windmill. I like windmills. Windmills are the best thing. And there's temples and a big palace. And generally everything here is cool. It's a really, really cool big city. But I don't really want to start exploring it right now. Because if I start exploring it right now, it'll take like a full episode. Probably more than a full episode. Like I probably want to dedicate a proper episode just to that. Instead, now we've made it here and we can get back here later. In order to speak to that guy I was supposed to be speaking to. The guy who is uh, betraying the Thieves Guild. As I've now got two of the three bits of Golda's amulet, I would quite like to finish that off. As right now, all I've got is... Are you okay? Are you okay? Wait, who's this guy? Okay, gold, and I'll take your key. Bryling's house and some lockpicks. What, what happened here? Don't think you can barter with me like one of those damned shopkeepers. Did, did we do this? I don't think we did this. What happened to this guy? Does anyone know what happened to... Who are you? Okay, there's just a dead guy here. I didn't see him on the way in, so... Um, fine. I guess. Um, well, that happened. <laughs> Not sure why or how, but it happened. Also, there's just some uh, Kajit outside. Hello, are you traders or something? Fortune smiles upon this meeting. No, you're a lockpicking trader, all right. I welcome welcome your friend. And How you are, ah, you are indeed a caravan. <laughs> Alright, then I suspect I've got some stuff to sell. He's got 790 gold on him. May as well kind of pick up some soul gems if I need to, but honestly I think we're alright. Ooh, deadly frenzy potion. That's actually pretty powerful, but yeah, my own frenzy's already way better than that. Oh, now someone's got scale boots. Obviously, after I've already done the crafting. Yeah, obviously, now someone's got bloody scale boots. I searched ages. I went, like, four shops looking for scale boots. So I could have matching boots and arm things. But no, no one had any. So, yes, indeed. As I was just saying, having sold a few little bits and pieces there, I would say let's head back over all the way to Iverstead to finish that off. Because, yeah, I wouldn't mind having... A nice, nice little thing. Here we are. I've actually already visited it. Uh, Gehrman's Hall. Let's get over here. Finish that off. And here we are. Shouldn't take too long. It feels like the undead at this point. I'm cutting through pretty bloody effectively. In we go, Benor. Now, nothing starting off here but a handful of skeevers. Fine. Yeah, this one should be a little bit simpler, I think. Oh. 
We've got a hole to drop down, I think, Ben. Or oh, that feels like a that feels like a really deep hole. That doesn't seem safe. That doesn't seem safe at all. Can I just go round to to Okay, Ben or Ben or okay, Ben or what we're gonna do is you're gonna come over here and you are going to Okay, didn't even actually need to uh, do that. He kind of did it by himself. Uh, okay, Benor, if you survive, just shout up and let me know, okay? Alright. Benor? Ben, are you okay? Yeah, he's fine. Okay, it's safe to jump down. Ow, no it wasn't. I hit the side. Benor, you betrayed me. Right, so, now we're down at the bottom. And that's that's probably bad. So, we've got iron doors there. Have we got anything around here? Oh, we've got money. Got to some no no jump 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 up get the money got the coin purse it's fine uh right that's just hanging moss don't need that right Ben or in we flipping go oh the spiders down here luckily at this point I'm just knifing everything to death <laughs> just a reminder this is master difficulty it's just yeah to my mind enchanting is just one of those skills you absolutely must have it's ridiculously good once you get it going okay we've blatantly got a puzzle. Coming up here, which is on my left, eagle then whale, on my right, whale then snake. Okay, I can see there's a thing here. What do you want me to do? You're just, oh dear. You know what? Restless, I wouldn't bother. How are these things arranged? How are they arranged at this point? What are you, by the way? You're, oh, if you've got magic. Oh no, you're just restless. I thought it'd be a little bit better than that. That's fine. We've got more of these bastards yet, and you're down, and so are you. I should probably just be getting soul gems out of these guys. Right, now, how are these arranged? What corresponds to to what? I think it's corresponding like, yeah, if you're, if you're eagle, right, because eagle to that one, and then that one to, to whale here... And then these two correspond to the equivalent over that side. So that next one would be snake and then well. So you ought to be snake, I think. And then this one's whale. And I think that, that matches the pattern if I've orientated it correctly. Yeah, give it a go. Pull leave it. Yep, that was indeed correct. Beautiful. Got that first time. Very nice indeed. And we've got more coming in. Yep, but that's fine. Let's quickly finish you off. You're running ahead to you. You're just basic stuff at this point. Nothing to worry about. I will actually leave that. Dwarven bow. I can take or leave. Minor potion definitely gets left behind at this point. You're just murdering everything, aren't you? Yes, yes you are. Just get behind you. Get in the back a bit. Lovely. Sorry, Dramora Lord. Right, any more? Nope, I think we're okay for the time being. We've got... Oh, excuse me. Someone's... Oh dear, someone's got a bow. Somewhere someone's got a... Guys, ouch! What the bloody hell was that? And on the redo, Conjuration goes up to 80. Very, very nice indeed. Right. There's a few more guys over there. Finish them off. Then potentially watch out for some form of trap in here. Yeah, what exactly hurt me? Was there someone with a bow over there? And if so, can I get you to... Oh, okay. I just saw an arrow come from somewhere and then hit me again. Right, where, where is it? Where's the guy? Is he over there? Right, avoid. Avoid. I feel like there is someone over there. Can I actually get a... Come on, I need to get a... No, he's refusing to spawn in that spot, unfortunately. Fine, I think we just need to work around you. Something's going a bit wrong here. Right, go through this way. Oh, hello. You're here. And you're... Oh, uh-oh. Let's just knock you down, please. While you're on the ground, if it's just you, I can by the time you get back up. Oh, you're a little bit tougher than I was expecting, actually. Right, and... Oh, there's a spider here as well. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. Go, go, go. Ben or save me. Right, healing magic, healing magic, healing magic. Good. Healing magic, healing magic, healing magic. Good. All right, there we go. Don't worry, Ben. I'll soften them up for you. It's fine. I wasn't expecting a spider too. That kind of turned it against me. If it hadn't been for that spider, I'd have been able to handle that myself, all right? And I think I've managed to lurk my way around to... Oh, you're a death lord. Okay, that's probably bad. Oh, I think I outshouted you. Oh, dear. Uh oh, okay, you're a little bit on the tough side. Maybe maybe we actually do just kind of, you know, let our friends handle this. Ben, or... Right, you get in there. I think it's going to actually take all three of us for this. Right, are you already... Right, let's just reset you to make sure your timing doesn't run out here. And you've got yourself a... No, don't, don't drop your stuff. No, pick it up. 
Pick it up, Benno. 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 There you go. Get it back out again. Yeah. Nice. Well done, Benno. Right, how are you doing? Because as soon as he gets a bit on the low side... Let's just get on the back of him. I wouldn't mind getting his soul because it's valuable. Yeah, this will do. Right, this is the right time. Bound sword out. Quick as you like, quick as you like, quick as you like. No, don't finish him off too quickly. Don't finish him off too quickly. Benno! I said don't. Right, so this gets us back over. Oh, oh dear. Right, maybe I shouldn't have pulled that one. Um, That was maybe the wrong lever to pull. Or did someone step on a trap? Did someone step on a trap? Pull the lever. Yeah, the, the lever does nothing but the trap. Okay, that's that's fine. So in which case, how do we... Wait, wait. How do we get that down then? Um, you're, you're kind of in the way. You're right now. You're, you're there you go. You've ceased to exist. That's better. Right, climbed up to the top here. And there doesn't seem to be... Yeah, there's there's one lever here. but they've, Ah, there's a secondary lever. That's better. There we go. Good luck with that, by the way. Benno, can you handle that now? Oh, yeah, I love it when that happens. Right, actually, you know what? I'm just going to toss down a Dramora Lord to help out. Um, down there. There we go. Dramora Lord will hopefully find you. Yep. Dramora Lord's on that. Dramora Lord will totally be able to win that one. Round here. Activate this lever. Watch out. There's now... Oh, dear. Excuse me. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, come over here. Come over here. Why don't you charge me? Why don't you just charge me? Come on. Excuse me. I'm right here. Um, guys. Guys. Guys, there's... Where'd you go? You all decided to run into the into the thing, didn't you? Yeah, you... oh yeah, good luck. Good luck with that. I think this is going to take a... Yep, shattered immediately. Right, so... Why don't you just come over here and uh, try and get access to me now? There we go. Just knock you over for a bit. And uh, hopefully sooner or later he'll just run over here. And everything will be fine. Uh, how's the Scourge down there doing, by the way? Dead? Where's bloody Benor? Benno, I kind of need you for this, Benno. It's kind of tight corridors and whatever, but I am going to need you sooner or later. Oh, I think he's stuck down with the Scourge, which they can't bloody defeat. Well, that's just bloody useless of you. Dear, oh bloody dear. Right, finish off the Scourge, please. No, I hang on. Ben, okay, Benno's here. I think he's trying to get to the Scourge that's up there, actually. So where's the... All right, fine, whatever. Also, I think the Scourge might have just stepped into the hallway of the Axes. Yeah, in fact, I'm pretty confident that's what's just happened, because now he's losing health. There we go. Oh, no, I think the Dramoral Lord made it through. Right, let's just cast a new one on top of him. Conjuration now up to 81. That's really going up fast now. Now, hopefully, this Lord will be able to handle the Scourge pretty easily. Yep, down he goes. Right. Now, how are we going to turn off, turn off any of this? I don't know. Okay, what I'm going to do instead is... Okay, you need to get out of the way, please. Okay, you. Follow me out of... Ben or just... That was a good trick, I'll admit. Now, everyone out of the way, please. I'll go first and turn it off. Okay, because I've got the whirlwind sprint. Okay, wait and... Nice. Well, flipping done. Turn it off before Ben or runs in. Don't worry, Ben or I got you, man. I got you. And I think we're actually getting closer. Ah, I remember this. This fight's really weird, because it involves, like, a teleporting enemy. Yeah, I remember this. Right, so, in we go, and I think we actually need to take out Germund first. So, right, you, let's just get as many hits in as we can on this guy right away. Yeah, there we go, and teleports away. Lovely, right. Now he's going to teleport over there, and one of them's going to be real. And, oh, blimey! <laughs> They just did a really impressive three-way shout. Um, right, Ben or uh, can someone get over to one of them, please? I'm pretty sure that's the real one because he's actually got a bow. That's how you tell the difference because they actually do look like um, like phantoms. Uh, whereas if we go to... Oh, blimey. Okay, stop. Stop it. Get that over there. Okay, I'll go for the fake ones. You go for the real ones unless you want to... Wait, where's he gone? Are they just respawn? I think they've just respawned the bloody phantoms. Right, there's the... There's the fake... No, there's the... That's the real one over there. Totally. Right. Get him over there. And now you get down over here. Let's see if I can just get a couple of hits in. Yeah, you're real. And this is going to do loads of damage to you very quickly. Lovely. And then he's going to reset his position on the islands. We've got oh, no, he's not. Oh, that was... No, oh, but luckily that one goes down in like one hit. Yeah, the fake ones go down in one hit to me at this point. I think the real one is up 
there. Yeah, that's totally a fake one. That's fine. I need to temporarily, but they can still hit you. The phantom bows do do damage, just not as much damage. Right, I need still to do a close wound. But we're doing pretty well here. I think we're actually winning quite nicely. Right, as he disappeared, and now he's reappeared, and which is the oh blimey, I got completely nailed by a shout there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, if you get hit by the multiple way shouts, that's difficult. Actually, if I had a ward up, that wouldn't happen. Uh, right, real guy's at the back. I'm going for him next. There we go. Oh, yeah, how do you like it? How do you like it? Where's he gone? Wait, where's he gone? Where's he? Is he in the water? Wait, where's he? Oh, there he is. Sorry. Sorry, that's fine. I'll be able to get a load of hits in on him. He'll teleport long before he gets a proper hit in. Oh, no, he's willing to stand fight for the time being. Good. We've got loads of us. Oh, dear. Right, he actually did quite a lot of damage to me. Right, no. Heal and uh, quickly heal up as quick as you like and then get yourself shoved into a thing. But luckily that does literally no actual real damage. So that's good. Right. Careful. Careful. The arrows are coming in. Damn it. Right. Where is he? And Ben was there. Right. He's over there at the time being. I might be able to get to him in time. Ouch. Blimey. Right. Yeah. His, his bow does a lot more real damage. Now that's a fake one. Oh, I will take out the fake one while I'm actually here. Screw you. And then he teleports away. Right. You know what? I think that means if I'm here, he'll teleport to, yeah, those three locations there. Which one's the real one? Ouch! Blimey. They're very fast on the old shafts. Right, the real one's over by the main area. Right, get the, get the, just get the healing ready. Get the healing ready. The real one's totally right here. Right, and there we go. Might be able to finish off this time or one more maybe if we're unlucky. Oh, Ben, I almost had him. You flip it. No, we did. Ben, got the last hit in. Well done, Ben. Oh, you deserve that honor. Right. So you've been got, and then this has been got, and anything else on you? We've got another, oh yeah, your bow's kind of, I'm not even bothering to take it, it's not even that good. Uh, right, we'll take that, and we'll take the fragment, but more importantly, yeah, now we need to reforge it. Does anyone know how we do that? Uh, are there like, you know, specific instructions? Do we need a particular material or something? I, I don't know. Alright, fine, you know what, let's just get out of here, quick as you like. Ah, but first, help yourself to some lovely stuff here. Ultimate magic, orcish helmet, iron gauntlets. Never turned down a soul gem, maybe if I'm carrying ten bajillion of them. Make sure there's not... Ooh, pearls. Good old pearls. I like pearls. I like eating them for some weird reason. Bit of gold. Ooh, glass boots of eminent sneaking. I think I'm carrying around something that's already like my sneaking boot in case I ever need to sneak it. 30% better. Okay, fine. I've already actually literally got that. I've already got 30% better. Um, and a longbow. That's very anticlimactic for the third and final stage of Forgotten Legend, but whatever. I'll take these guys. I'll just sell them. That's fine. Right. Quick lever pull. Skyrim door opens and gets me straight back to the starting area. Beautiful. Right. Out we go then. Out we flipping go. Job flipping done. Very nice. Very quick and easy, in fact. And here we are at Ivestead, where I don't think I can actually do the forging, because if I recall correctly, there's no forger. Though actually, the game seems to be pointing me in a particular direction. Where's the forging? Oh, the forging has to happen in a particular place, does it? Is there a particular place for the forging? Okay, apparently there's a particular place for the forging. Right. Well, let's head there then. Looks like if I head to Bleakwind Bluff, head pretty much straight down to the river and then back up again. That should be about right. Bleakwind Bluff, yeah, that was where the Forsworn were. And they don't attack you on sight, they just warn you if you get too close. That should be fine and safe. In fact, a bright new day over in this part of Skyrim. Rorikstead over there somewhere. Ben or with me, but it'll probably fall behind because I'm kind of going to be going straight down cliffs. So he struggles to kind of keep up when that sort of thing's happening. Uh, but this should be fine. I'll catch up later. Lovely. And it looks like there's actually no village up there. That's fine. Don't worry about that right now. We're going to pass by one mine by the looks of things, straight over the top of it. In fact, it's actually, yeah, there's a tiny little mining settlement. Right here, that's nice, okay. It's actually got a guard, so it is actually active, sure. Hello there, we've got. Whoa there. I don't know where you're going, but stay out of that mine. It isn't safe. I wasn't actually planning to go in your mine, but go on, while I'm passing by, why isn't it safe? We tunneled into an old Nordic crypt. The whole place is crawling with Draugr. We're not mining up any ore with those undead around. So I wouldn't go down there if I were you. And I'm guessing you'd like me to kill them for you then. You're joking, right? Those bone walkers will tear you limb from limb. Look, I tear them limb from limb, all right? They're not a problem anymore. Right, maybe I'll come back and do that later. But ignore that for now. Stay focused. Stay focused. I think we're pretty much in Forsworn territory right now. Those little campsites will probably be Forsworn camps. So 
Let's just head down over here. Down towards, yep, down towards the river. Then up the far end. And looks conveniently like, yeah, there's actually going to be a road I can join up with right here. So that's nice. This is one thing I always loved about Skyrim, by the way. The world felt very distinct. Like, depending on, like, you know, whether you were in, like, the icy wastes in the north or Riften or over here in the far west with all the mountains and the paths cutting through the mountains. The game felt really, really different. No matter where you were and what you were doing, I always approved that. So it made Skyrim feel big. And Skyrim was already pretty big, but it made it feel even bigger, damn it. Now, are you wanting me to go into that cave? Because it feels like those two markers are pretty much next to each other. Yeah, that seems about right. It looks like you want me to go into that cave. Yep, I'm pretty much right on top of it. And there's a cave right here. Is this it? Or have I... Yep, this is it. Reach Water Rock. Hopefully, when I go in there, Benner will catch up with me, because right now he's probably several miles behind. And there he is. Welcome back, Benner. Glad to see you still with us. Now, what do we need to do here? We need to just find ourselves like a magic forge or something, I guess. I can't remember this bit. I know I've done this quest before, but like it was probably like a decade ago or something, so I honestly can't remember how it goes or how you do the reforging or what's going to stand in my... Oh, no. You better be joking. Oh, no, it's right there. Good, good, good. It's right there, the Emerald Claw. Right, there's an adventurer here. That's nice, holding the lost legends and what have you. Nothing major. Right. Read the ancient thing. Let this place be forever forgotten. No, I'm reforging the thing. All right. It was sealed at great price. Honor those who perished here. Turn back and... No. No, 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 no. I want a new fancy necklace. All right. That's what I want. I want a necklace. That's more important than the great ancient sacrifices. Right, I think that's Bear Dragon Snake, if I'm reading that correctly. No, 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 Bear Whale Snake it'll be. Fine, that wasn't a dragon, that was a whale. Right, I think that's about right. In you go. Probably about to attack me with poison darts. Nope, that was right. Lovely. Oh, this time, this time the correct solution is Owl Bird Bird. Because God only knows what logic Skyrim operates under. Ooh, I've opened a thing the far side too. Ooh, I've opened loads of things. Ooh. Okay, this is particularly well guarded. Fight. Right, what are we fighting exactly? Okay, this is, this is int I don't remember this. This is cool. This is cool. Get ready. I mean, is this the same, the same thing again? Do you need me to do it again? No. Okay, but this one's got a dragon on it, so this can't be, this can't be it. Oh, wait, hang on. Isn't that the same stuff as was on the, the coral? No, not coral. Ivory. Ivory. That was the one I actually did for this very quest, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, that was Bird Bird Dragon. And we've got Bird Bird Dragon right here. Yeah! Okay. Puzzle solving skills here. Right. So that is Bird Bird Dragon. Give this a go. Shove in this claw. Hopefully that's right, yeah? And once again, now it's Dragon 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 for another whole bunch of them. And now we're getting closer to the reforging. Right, two doors in a row. You weren't kidding about this place. You really wanted it to stay sealed, didn't you? Yeah, okay. Right, check the urns. Now, what is going on down here? Because we're getting close. And Ben I said prepare for a fight, so there's definitely something down here that's angry at us. Oh, dear. It's a boss room, isn't it? Oh, yeah, this is a boss room. Right, the question is, who's in the crypt? The three son's father, perhaps? Right, Ben, or in we go. In we go. There's going to be a lot to do in here, I suspect. But we're ready. We've got the Tremora Lords. Right, prepare. Prepare. Ready. And... No. Okay. Ah, you want me to put the things down. Right. And that's going to start waking some stuff up, isn't it? Okay, no, just a little bit of rumble pack vibration. Not enough to wake anything up. Number two. Bit more vibration, but no bad things yet. Right, number three. That's your lot. And now things are going to start going wrong. All right, bring it. Why don't you wake up, you bastards? I'm ready for you. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Put away the weapons. What's going on? Do you want me to hop up here? To see what's going on here? 
Yeah, yeah. Oh no, Ben was doing a fight. Okay, fine. There is actually some fighting to do. Fine, there's some fighting to do. There's ghosts. There's ghosts to take out, including the ghosts who have their original powers. Well, that's fine. Looks like they're going down pretty quick to me. Right. Uh, light armor going up because something's actually attacking me. Ouch. What's attacking me? Right. So we've got Benor. We've got Dramora Lord. Uh, there's a couple of... Oh, you're just thralls. Oh, that's fine. Thralls I will take out to make sure they've got no DPS in this room. That's okay. Anything else wakes up, I'll go for it. Jump. I didn't jump. Right, round, 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 round. Screw you. Right, I'll take out the thralls. You take out the main lads, okay? Yeah, you know what? Screw you. I saw you coming. Right, how many more have we got? We've got more over there. We've got this guy over here who's almost flipping dead. Right, he's gone. Lovely. Next, do we have to take on the ghosts one by one? Is that what we're doing here? Yeah, they're coming down one by one at this point. And now there's a whole bunch of... Oh, blimey! It's the guy who does the shouts. He's back. He wants revenge. Right, okay. Right, careful, lads. Careful. Bloody careful. Right, what else have we got here? Do you have... Ah, it's you. You're going to do the fake stuff again, aren't you? Oh, blimey. This is going to hurt. Right, uh, prepare for close wounds. Prepare for... Ah, I nailed me just before I got it. Right, this is going to be a tough fight. So, yeah, now we have to take all of them on again, basically, one at a time. So, put it down, put it down, put it down. And they appear up there, but then the first of the brothers comes and takes me on. Okay, and they do that by basically using their own unique kind of tactics. So, where's this guy? There he is. So, Dramora Lord can now basically distract down there. That side hasn't actually opened up yet. Um, sprint and jump, and once again, fail to, fail to... I'm being so ineffective right now. Right, so, no, you can go down. Don't focus on me, you bastard. Uh, right, actually, unless you're a thrall. If you're a thrall... That's fine. Thrall and thrall, dead and dead. Right, take out all of the thralls. N nope, you don't get to get involved, please. Now, remember, one at a time. One at a time, the thralls are definitely feeble. Light armor's going up. Now, I think it's nothing but that guy and a couple of guys over there. I'll take out the guys over there. You focus on the main lad, please. I'll take out the support. And dead and dead. And bear in mind, yeah, next we've got coming up is all of the the misty lads. And they're a little bit on the the nasty side. So, how's he doing? He's almost dead. I'm going to take this opportunity to do a bit of healing. Yeah, good. And I'm going to come over here in order to, yeah, take out the first few of the ghost lads. So, top up my Dramora Lord and prepare because this guy's going to appear and then he's going to, yeah, summon all of these guys. They'll go down in one hit. So that's fine. So let's just take out all of those lads as quick as you like. Because they're actually quite dangerous. Right? Just get close wounds up. Yeah, you know, it's just worth it just to get close wounds up. Because they just keep respawning. There's no way to get rid of them. So I need... Wait, where's Benor? Benor, what are you doing? Because I really hope you're helping. Because Benor needs to go for... Uh, oh, dear. Right, where's the real one? That's the problem. We need to identify the real one and nail him. And I don't think you are right now. I think right now you're going for the... Actually, they all look fake to me. I mean, that looks like a fake one. That looks like a fake one. Where's the real guy? I'm not sure. He's bringing in a couple more reels. Oh, no. No, no, no. Right, now you can't tell anymore. Right. Now the real one looks just as fake. Right, but you know it's the real one because you can take more of a battering. So, okay. That's why, because he's a ghost regardless. I see. I see the problem here. Right, let's just get ourselves in the Dramora Lord's gone. Get a new one down. Quick as you like. Stay on this side of the room. I can take out up to 82, almost up to the next level as well. Wherever these guys are. They can't actually do much damage to me. Their bows are a little bit powerful, but not too bad. If they basically get taken out in one hit, then they were the fake. Now prepare, because new ones will be spawning in. And there's one. You are... Ooh, got knocked down just before I got a swing at you, which is unfortunate, because now I'm being shot in the head, which is not fun. Ouch. Just... Hurry it up, please. Uh, right, you are a fake. Right, need to find the real one. Because I think he's actually nearly dead at this point. So just head over there. And you were... No, he managed to teleport out of the way just in time. And yeah, wherever they reform, it's the ones that aren't close by to you. Unless, of course, you finished him off. No, I think you finished him off. Right, last one. Last one needs to go down. Uh, what's the deal with the last one? He's over there. Fine. What makes you so tough? He's got... Ah, you get to summon stuff. Fine, well that's okay, and jump out of a sprint there, round the back of you. Oh, you seem relatively actually, ooh, 
You resist that damage, do you? Oh, you can just teleport. Fine. You just get to teleport from side to side. Uh, so you are mysteriously resistant to my bonus damage. But in all fairness, it seems to me like you are going down faster than the others. Because although you teleport, you don't actually do the whole multiple or support thing. I've already killed all the support guys. Right. Round. Round. One-handed's going up. And Frosty's coming for me. Benor. Help. This ends now. Jump down. He can't get to me anymore. Right. One person over there. This should be him. Dumb. That should be a lot. That's the third and final brother. Taken care of for the second time. All right, guys? Cut it out. Seriously. But now... Oh. Uh-oh. Why do we get the feeling that's their dad or something? Ah, but he looks much less angry. And now... Yep. He's going to take his three. Oh, no, he's not. Someone attacked Ben, or apparently the magic hurt. But now I get myself the reforged Golder Amulet. Boom. Lovely. Is that the quest complete? Is it? Are we done with the quest? Is there more? Oh, there he is. Yeah, there's Golder. That's fine. Also, we had 400 gold on him. That's bloody convenient. By the way, did you ever build, like, a Skyrim door into this place? Because I don't see one, and that's, um... Kind of unusual. Actually, I guess it's a small dungeon, so it doesn't really need one. Now, the reason we did all of this is so that we could have a nice necklace. Not yet exactly spectacular, but it's pretty good. So, where is it? Ah, it's in the, because the, the apparently counts. Right, so, increases your health and your magicka and your stamina by 30 points. Honestly, even though I like the Talos amulet, once you get this, you kind of always use it. Because it's pretty bloody good. It's really bloody good, in fact, because, yeah, my health over 300, my magicka jumps to 429, my stamina's a little bit higher, which is really, really nice for the old running around business. So, you know, whenever I'm running around, I can run around for much, much longer. It's just a really, really great amulet. Once you've got it, I can't really think of... Ooh, you had an unfortunate death. Oh, that's... Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even mean for that to happen. Ouch, blimey. Oh, uh, yeah, once you've got it, you're pretty much going to use it because it's really good. Ooh. Also, I just missed this. There's just a reward chest on my way back out. Lovely. Coin. Petty soul gems. Nice chest here. Admittedly, not much good here. Just a glass helmet. That's not that great, to be honest. But you know what? It'll flipping do. Let's just head upstairs. Have a little Luxie back outside. Yeah, that was nice. With bloody three, like, big doors in a row. Possibly four or five. I don't know. Yeah, five, I think. Blimey. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice little sealed area here. Sadly, the adventurer... Not really sure what killed you, to be perfectly honest. Possibly you lost a fight with a mushroom. Still, with that nice new necklace in hand, or rather on my neck, I suppose, uh, we've returned here to Solitude. I don't really want to explore this place fully, but next time I most certainly want to nip into the pub here, have a quick chat with that bloke, and see where that leads us, and crack on with the Thieves' Guild. Because, yeah, I would like to make a little bit more progress a little bit faster with that. Hopefully, now we've made it to Solitude, and I've actually got that necklace sorted out, I will not be distracted next time. We can do a couple of different quests in the Thieves' Guild quest, and I'd sooner or later reach the point where I kind of potentially broke it by breaking into that house a little bit earlier. But then hopefully we'll be able to fix it with console commands. It'll all be absolutely fine. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.